hey guys welcome back to another video and today we have a new update for oneplus 6 which is in the form of hydrogen os open beta 2 previously we had open beta 1 which was completely based on android p to update your device if you are running hydrogen os previously you should receive an ota update as i received it on my device and the update size is 139 mb but if you are running oxygen os then you can download the complete zip file from the description below and do a local upgrade do not factory reset if you want to have Google Play Store available on Hydrogen OS if you are coming from Oxygen OS. Because I have tried many methods to install Google Apps on Hydrogen OS based on Android 9.0 but none of them worked for me. So as I have received the update, I will download it and install it directly from the system updater app. So I have already updated my device. Let me show you the software information going to settings, about phone and here you can see Hydrogen OS Open Beta 2. Android version is Android 9 but here they say the security patch is 5th September 2018. Right now we are in August month but they have updated the security patch to 5th September. Maybe this is a typing error or something else which I am not sure. And if you guys haven't checked the previous update then you can check it out in the description below. We have all new recent panel which has swipe gestures similar to pixel devices. The shelf is completely redesigned and as you can see here, now it's in completely white color. So talking about the change logs related to this update, as you can see here, there are no new additions done, few fixes and improvements have been done under system, phone application, launcher, status bar, settings, lock screen, weather and third party app. So first let's take a look at the launcher, launcher is upgraded to 3.0 under which update logs are adopted Android P and brand new UI style. Camera, I did not see any kind of improvements but here you have everything working on this camera including slow motion and front portrait. This is all new quick setting panel. So now let's take a look at the complete change logs. Under system, first one they say updated Android security patch to September 2018 and which I have already shown you. In about section you can see Android security patch is 5th September 2018. After that they have added global roaming solution. Previously old services were not working on my second sim but now it seems to be working fine. They have also improved touchscreen sensitivity and now touchscreen is more smoother than the previous update. Optimize standby power consumption this I'll check out throughout the day and update you guys by evening. Optimize stability for Bluetooth connections. Moving on to the next change log which is related to phone application. Here they say fix issues with the caller interface displaying for incoming phone calls. I never had issues with the phone application. Moving on to launcher fix issues with the icon not displaying correctly in the dock area. But there were no issues in the previous update for me. Everything seems to be working fine in the dock area. And then under launcher they have fixed double swipe arrow in the launcher itself. Moving on to the status bar, fixed status bar drop down display issues. So I have no issues with the drop down. After that under settings they have fixed issues with the dark mode. In the previous update whenever we used to choose the dark mode inside the display it used to get crashed. So let's go to the settings, display and under theme we have dark mode available. And as you can see on this build it is working perfectly fine. And if you guys are not aware now here they have added one more option that is colorful in which you have all the colorful icons inside the setting panel. After that under lock screen fix issues with the lock screen interface not displaying battery percentage correctly while charging. Yes this was a bug which even I have noticed and as you can see now the battery percentage is 42 so let me connect the charger and see whether it has been fixed or not. And here you can see now it displays same percentage what is available in the status bar that is 42 percentage and it says charging rapidly. Then they have fixed issues with the weather application and the last one is related to third party applications in which they have done optimizations related to players unknown battleground that is PUBG. So guys these are the change logs available on this latest build of Hydrogen OS Open Beta 2 and trust me this is one of the stable ROM which I have ever used it on my OnePlus 6. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results. Going with Geekbench application and here single core scores 2279 wherein multi core scores 8565. With Antutu bench application, the device scores 2,86,807 and 
and guys if you want to update your device i'll put up the direct link inside the description below which you can download and upgrade your oneplus 6 and also if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day